Okay, hello guys. So today I will show you how to instantly unlock the Xiaomi phone that use a MediaTek device. Okay. In this video, I will show you how to unlock the Redmi 10 Selena. Okay. This is this also can be applied on another Xiaomi MediaTek phones such as Note 8 Pro, Redmi 9, and A9C, Note 10s, and etc. Okay. So all the files and instruction I will provide in my blog so please check the description box okay so stay tuned and check it out okay, hello guys assalamualaikum we meet again with Tom Bob this time we are not going to root or custom any pawn but instead i will show you how to do instant unlock bootloader for mediatic pawn okay especially uh xiaomi and in this video i will show you how to do it in the redmi 10 with the code name is lene okay let's get started let's check the version as you can see it's using the latest one the latest firmware mute 12.5.7 and based on android 11 okay let's enable the <coughs> developer option hit the mute version five times one two three four five can go back <coughs> and then additional settings and developer option <coughs> okay you can see right here uh the me unlock status is still locked Okay, so we're going to try to instant to do instant unlock bootloader. Okay, instead of waiting for seven days, we'll try to bypass it. Okay, now let's turn off the pawn <clears throat> and let's switch the screen. Okay. <coughs> and this is the step okay i will include all the steps and the files that needed in my blog okay. okay this is credit goes to not my std 33d okay uh, it's in the github this is software i'll just show you how to use it okay and you can use for the Note 9, Redmi 9, 9A, 9C, uh, Note 8 Pro, etc. Okay, and it doesn't include doesn't work with 6A and Redmi 6. Okay, for this type we have another method. Okay, <coughs> the not my STD doesn't include the Redmi 10, so let's try it. Okay, this is the step. The first thing you want to do is download the mtk client gui and driver okay so we have already have it in here <coughs> hey this this file you can download from the github and this file the driver i will include the link okay and then make sure you install the driver okay this is for uh windows 64 bit I also will include the 32 bit K. Okay? Just need to. Uh, uh, sorry, this one. Driver, you just need to open it. Find the uh, extract all the files. Right click. And install. Okay, that's all. And restart your PC. You're ready to go. Okay. And then <coughs> extract the MTK client GUI, this one. Extract to the folder. I already put it in here this one and then run the start.bat to get the batch file okay it take two times and maybe for the first time it will download some file so you must wait it okay so I already opened the file so it doesn't it don't it doesn't need to download again okay now you can see this option one unlock bootloader to uh, lock bootloader and 
the next step select the unlock button there okay this one and tap yes hit enter okay and then turn off the pawn okay we already turn off the pawn right here and hit the volume up and volume down plug the usb cable okay let's start it uh usb uh, where is it this one let's plug the cable okay uh for the first attempt maybe you will not succeed you have to try it several times and if you control a problem like me that uh it doesn't boot into the download, download mode and but instead you will see the chinese text like this okay you just need to select the most uh button menu and exit okay you can select the menu by pressing the volume down and then press the power button okay don't select the other menu because sometimes it will format your data okay let's turn it that's the point turn on and let's try it again okay let's try it again press the volume up uh, volume down at the same times and then like the USB cable okay and now we are seeing a message that it's show the progress okay it said DA handler successfully wrote CACFV okay seems that it is successfully okay let's unplug the cable and let's try to boot into the android okay unplug the cable and let's try to turn on the pawn <clears throat> and seems that we have an error message right here okay seems that there is a pb meta problem so don't be panic okay let's try to boot into the facebook mode by pressing the volume down and power button okay now let's block the cable okay let's switch the screen again okay this is uh there is no uh no problem with the unlock with other but it seems that it's doesn't ac accept unverified boot image so let's try the flash to pb meta okay uh, i already prepared in here uh Okay, this is the comment. <clears throat> let's open the CMD and let's paste it. Uh, in here, I already have the PB meta. Okay, just click and drag the file, enter. And okay, now let's check the bootloader status from the Facebook mode. Okay, uh, where is it? Uh, CLNA unlock, yes. Okay, so we have successfully unlocked our pawn. Okay, let's reboot the pawn. Hmm. 
Yeah, here we go. Now we are in the home screen. Let's go to the settings. We because we want to check the bootloader status. Okay. Settings and additional settings. Developer option and where is it? Uh, okay, this one. And the me unlock status is unlock. Okay, so we'll succeed. Nice. So that's all, guys. I've shown you how to do instant unlock bootloader on MediaTek Pond, especially Xiaomi. And in this video, I'll, I've been showing you that how to do it in Redmi 10. Okay, you can do it in Redmi 9 and ANC Note 8 Pro, Mi 10s, and etc. Okay, I hope you like it. If you find this video useful, uh, please give it a thumb. Uh, I also have the last video about Roman Custom ROM check my other video maybe some of the video is useful for you and if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video okay thank you guys have a nice day stay healthy stay safe and wassalamualaikum